Hello! Welcome to Painted Forest Art. Uh, today's piece is going to be a little bit different than my others because it's not going to involve any stained glass. I'm actually going to be using a mirror. Um, and the cool thing about this is when I put another pane of glass um, in front of it, uh, and then I can reverse paint that glass, and so you'll see different colors when you look into the mirror versus when you just look at the painting. I'll explain more as I go, you'll see it. Uh, and the design I'm going to be doing is a doing some Celtic knotwork uh, with a twisted tree in front of it uh, for a little bit of interest. So, as usual, the first thing to do is to get the drawing to the same size as the glass. I decided I wanted the uh, not work part to be about two inches thick and about a half an inch in from the edge. So I'm just measuring that out. So as you can see, I've already sketched out some of the um, not work stuff and I gotta tell you the brain space to <laughs> work it out to the right size that I needed it took me a very very long time longer than it really should have but I think I got it figured out uh, and I'm just gonna continue this pattern the rest of the way Looking into the history of mirrors, I found that the earliest man-made mirrors that have been found are made of polished stone, especially volcanic glass, and these have been found in Turkey from at least 6,000 years ago. Later peoples used polished metals for mirrors and often decorated them with beautiful designs. These objects were originally difficult and expensive to make, so were only available to the wealthy. It seems that mirrors made of metal-backed glass were probably first produced around Lebanon in the first century AD, but it wasn't until 1835 when German chemist Justus von Liebig developed an easier process to adhere metallic silver to the glass that glass mirrors could be produced on a larger scale and so be made cheaply enough that more ordinary people could afford them. I decided to add a hawk up in the tree and some mice playing in the knotwork um, to add to the story of the painting. So I'm going to start painting in the knotwork um, and for this the outlines it's a lot easier to use, at least for me, um, a fine point marker pen um, paint pen instead of the uh, instead of using paints on a brush. All right, so it's hard to see against the white background, uh, but here is what the knotwork looks like with. Um, a darker background behind it. So I'm starting to paint the first little mouse um, that you'll see uh, and he's actually going to be reverse painted so I need to paint um, the things that will be nearer to the viewer first. Here we go.
All right, so I'm just using the purple um, so that I can see my lines. And I'm gonna be start filling in the blue for this layer of the knotwork. So I just was trying to shift the painting and dribbled a bottle, well, not the bottle, but dribbled a bunch of paint all over this section. So, <laughs> gotta figure out how to fix that. All right, so I'm done with the first layer of knot work, except for the big mess up here, which I'm gonna fix another day, because I don't feel like dealing with it right now. All right, it is another day, and I think I have the strength to tackle this mess. And I'm mostly going to be doing it using an X-Acto knife, and my fingernails, because that seems to be the best way to get paint off of glass. And now I'm filling in the white lines um, before I add in a second layer of the blue to make this all look, hopefully, like the rest of it. So now I am painting the white onto this uh, because the back the part that's facing the mirror is going to be white with blue edges. So now I'm finished with the first layer of white um, on the reverse side and I'll do a second coat and then I'll be able to do the blue borders. So now I have my second coat of white done and I'm gonna add the blue lines to the white side. And I've already messed up. <laughs> Over. Et voila, white out. So now I'm starting on the tree that is the going to be the layer closest to the viewer. So now I'll probably need a second coat of this dark brown um, and then I'll do some detailing on the tree and the bird and it should be set for this layer. So the 
Falcon is pretty dark against the dark blue, and I debated putting some silver or something as sort of a almost a halo around him so you could see his head better, but I think I'm just gonna put a white eyeball that should stand out really well and look interesting in the trees. So I think we'll go with that. I'm gonna add a bark texture to the tree and that should make it stand out a bit from the uh, weaving a bit as well. I think that added some great texture and interest to the tree. Thank you for watching to see how this painting turned out. Uh, this piece is a little bit unusual for me uh, because the painting is in front of a mirror instead of stained glass, but it was really fun to figure out how I would need to layer the paint to make it turned out the way uh, that I wanted it. I'm sure I'll do more mirrors in the future. And you can see some of the little details. See there's one of the little mice under the tree roots and there's another one under there and they're all trying to stay away from the falcon which you can see reflected in. Oh my goodness. As always let me know in the comments below how you show your creative side and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.